Hello everybody, my name is Laura Ritchie. I found that George Marston's book to be very interesting and very educational. Marston shows his training as a graduate of Westminster Theological Seminary. I was very impressed with how he applies the principles of Cornelius Van Til's method to show that the academic world is not a neutral commitment free place. So his method is more offensive than defensive in the beginning, showing non-Christians start out with a whole complex web of unproven beliefs. Marston is a true discipline of Van Til. Later, it gets constructive when he proposes what Christian scholars should look like. At the end of his 1994 book, The Soul of the American University, Dr. George Marston advised a modest proposal for an enhanced role for religious faith in today's scholarship. This unscientific postscript helps me spark a heated debate that spilled out of the pages of academic journals in the Chronicle of Higher Education into mainstream media such as the New York Times and marked Marston as one of the leading participants in the debates concerning religion and public life. <clears throat> Marston now gives his proposal a fuller treatment in the outrageous idea of Christian scholarship, a thoughtful and thought-provoked book on the relationships of religious faith and intellectual scholarship. More than a response to Marston's critics, the outrageous idea of Christian scholarship takes the next step towards demonstrating what the ancient relationship of faith and learning might mean. For the academics today. <clears throat> Marston argues forcefully that mainstream American higher education needs to be more open to explicit expressions of faith and to accept what faith means in an intellectual context. With that, I found his book to be informative, detailed, and gives great examples of what a true Christian scholar should look like. Thank you and have a nice day.